<laughs> Somebody just sent me some fan art that you should see. Oh dear, let's all right, let's have a look. Cut and paste, cut and paste. I did, I did. Clover leaf open out. Oh, you put it over here. I was looking for it in the Skype and you put it Oh. The... Well, you're dumb. I'm dumb. I have like seventy bajillion windows open. Whatever. All right, let's have a look at this. Okay, let's, uh, oh, oh, it's, uh, all right, it's, it's a, uh, Avengers thing. I'm an army. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, yes, I, I kind of love that. I kind of fucking love that. <laughs> I am happy. Thank you. Who did that? Who did that? Certifiable sent it to me in the channel. I know. Um, he did it. I, I, yeah. She did it. I, I like that. I approve. Yes. Okay, shall we do the, uh, the, the nonsense? Let's do the nonsense. Okay, let's get the intro going here. All right. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, and brings it back here. <laughs> segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And I already warned you on this one. I rarely warn you ahead of time on the stories, but I warned no, you. No, I, I never see them ahead of time. I am completely surprised. I warned you ahead of time on this one because we're, we're, we're wading into murky waters. This is normally stuff I avoid. But on this one, it was just so stupid. I could This is pretty not. special. This guy, this fucking guy, John Fleming, happens to be a representative uh, in the House of Representatives from uh, Louisiana. There's and, a reason it's called the Lower House, people. Yeah. He, uh, he, he put a, in, on his Facebook, he posted a news story that said, Planned Parenthood opens an $8 billion abortion plex. Um... Which you know, had they it, didn't. They they didn't. It was it was from the fucking onion. There is no birth canal water slide. No filled with jello. No, no. But uh, he went ahead and put it on his Facebook. I don't care where you stand politically. I don't care where you stand on the abortion issue. Basic fucking research. If this is the problem with politicians having social media, to be honest with you. Like, because generally, before they put out a statement to the news, before they do anything, they have teams that research this stuff and make sure they don't make an asshole of themselves. You give a fucking politician a Twitter account or a Facebook <laughs> account that they manage themselves, and there is nobody watching them to make sure they don't fuck it up. <laughs> so... All of a sudden, you realize they are just as goddamn dumb as, like, the former quarterback from your high school that you friended on Facebook who now works at a car wash and has a gut. They're just as dumb as that guy. I, I was waiting for him to also post the breaking announcement that there is a Nigerian prince <laughs> who is willing to uh, to send him money. Yeah. If, if uh, I, because, it's about, because, you know what, I love my dad. I do. My dad's a great man. I love him. But bless his heart, he believes every single fucking email that gets sent to him. No matter how crazy outrageous. He it believes. took us a while to train my mom to put any email she got through Snopes.com before she sent it along. Yes. yes. We, it took us a while, but finally now, and she, it, now when she forwards stuff, she'll attach the Snopes link to be like, no, I checked. This is true. <laughs> like, right. That's that's fine. You know, you're you're doing your internet due diligence, so that's cool. Um, <sighs> but yeah, it took us a while to train her that you know when people forward you shit, Snopes.com, find out if it's true, and then send it to everybody you know. What, what's 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 baffling me is, is how can you be in Washington this long and not have heard of the Onion? I know, they, right? They've burned everybody by this point. Yeah, like. They, they burned poor Eli Manning today, and it was actually really hilarious. But, um, yeah, like, I don't, uh, it, it's, 
it's kind of frightening to me how socially unaware some of these people are. Like, I know you're, quote, in the bubble. Like, you're in Washington dealing with Washington stuff and Washington people. And so you don't always know what's going on with the crazy kids and their kooky internet. But The Onion's been around forever. It was a print paper. It used to be a print paper. Yeah, paper. and they're, I mean, they're pretty ubiquitous. Uh, yeah, ubiquitous. Like, they're, they're pretty well known. It, so... If this guy believes that Planned Parenthood has $8 billion to make an abortion plex... A giant abortion amusement park. This guy... I don't care if you vote in a Democrat. I don't care if you primary, primary in another Republican... Louisiana, get rid of this guy. He's doing you no favors. Just, I don't care who. Elect a goat. Elect a goat and you will probably have better representation. Just get rid of this guy. Just somebody. This stupid. You so stupid. <sighs> yeah. yeah. This is what interns are for. And this is why politicians should not have direct access like that. Like... Well, I mean, in, in a way, it's kind of good, because all of a sudden you can be like, oh. <laughs> sorry, um, he's in my lap, that's why he's happy. <laughs> um, you know, because you all of a sudden realize what a moron you've put in office. Yeah, because they'll either, you'll either, you don't let them near the social media, because they'll post this, or they'll send their dick to people over Twitter. Just don't let them near it. It's not good. That too. That too. Anthony yeah. Weiner, the most unfortunately named politician. I know, right? <laughs> like it's almost like he was like, "Well, the stars aligned." It was that's already my name. Uh, Who wants a Weiner? All right, so let's get to our normal brand of pants on head, stupid. With pants on head, no, it's usually pants on nothing at all. Well, no, this time it's pants on head, stupid. Quite, okay. quite literally, it's it's. Uh, Man with shorts on head, not covering face, tries to rob a bank. 43-year-old man was charged Friday with trying to rob his first state bank on Stock Island. This is Florida, yes. While wearing shorts on his head, Sheriff's Office said Eli Escalera, uh, Escalera, Escalera, sorry, I say it wrong, Eli Escalera. I'm sorry, stupid person, I say your name right. Uh, walked into the Maloney Avenue bank with the shorts on his head, not covering his face, and handed the teller a note that said, Give me what are 20s and 50s. The teller asked, What do you want? And Escalera said, Never mind, and walked out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, <laughs> How that's a really months? weak robbery attempt. Like, oh, never mind. Wah, wah. This is like, it. he wasn't even trying here. Maybe he was hallucinating and thought he was on Jeopardy. Give me what are 20s and 50s, Alex. <laughs> I love the teller actually, okay, the, that the teller has actually stopped to try to reason with the man... With shorts on his head. Yeah, just, um... What? I... I you missed the... In, oh, oh, God. The same bank was robbed on December 11th. No one's been arrested in that case. It was also robbed on two consecutive days by the same man. He was caught after the second robbery, during which he told the teller, I was here Thursday and wanted to do the same thing today. What?! Really? Thanks for confessing to that on camera. Hey, robbed the same bank twice in two days. All right, you know what? Maybe you saw the town one too many times. <laughs> it's a good movie. It's got a got a lot a lot of eye candy. Love it. I've seen it a few times. That doesn't make you a master criminal like that doesn't mean you should go out and get yourself one of those pregnant nun costumes from the halloween shop and try and knock over like the local at least you're gonna fuck it up at least he actually the guy before actually succeeded at least once this guy 
I have no idea what happened here. I this is glorious stupidity of of a level we no disguise. No. Incoherent demand no. Yes. Anticlimactic shrugging give up. Yep. <laughs> it's glorious. Oh, this is some quality Florida crazy right here. I I just it Dude, before you try this again, go watch Heat. Just at least once. Get some pointers, because this... No. Just don't be the guy who goes crazy and starts shooting people. He never lives. Don't be. I kind of feel like if he wasn't even up to the conflict of... No, what do you want? I don't think this guy's going to start shooting people. No, probably He couldn't not. deal with the level of conflict of translating his incoherent note. I don't really think he's going to be all, Say hello to my little friend. We've uh we've got some disgruntled employee action next. I this guy. All right, first of all, the the, the look on this guy it looks like this guy looks like he was a Ro, he was a roadie for Rollins back in the day. Just just back in the day, Rollins is still out there. Well, yeah, but back but back in the the Black Flag days. Oh, not right. the Rollins band days. I mean the Black Flag days. Look at this guy. You know what he did. Police say former employee poured bleach on packages of chicken pork at supermarket. This is from Maryland. Ew. Man faces charges after police say he poured liquid bleach on packages of chicken and pork at a grocery store where he used to work. Security video shows 57-year-old John Wakey, uh, Wasky, Wasky, uh, allegedly pouring bleach over the contents of a meat case at a food lion. Uh, 96 packages of chicken and pork, totally over $700 in losses. Were ruined as a result. Uh, managers identified the former employee who turned himself into police on Monday. He faces charges of theft and contaminating food. Anyone who thinks they may have purchased a contaminated package is asked to call the store. Yes, if if you ate some chicken that tasted weirdly of bleach and are now dead, call the store. You'll get a refund. <laughs> How did? Yeah, that's that's kind of a smell you'll notice, honey. <laughs> This barbecue taste smells a lot like uh, laundry. And here's the thing. If you're going to get the neck tattoo. Yeah. Like I'm not opposed to any kind of body art, whatever, you know, have puff the magic penis if it makes you happy. That's great. But if you're going to get the neck tattoo, you should probably choose something just a little more hardcore than happy little blue music notes. See, yeah, I know, right? And he's, just, he's like. He can't like, commit to any of what he's doing right here. He's just not committed to any of it. I mean, if you're going to do the tattoo here, something a little more hardcore. I've I, a little music. No. I've had jobs I've left that utterly pissed me off. But normally when I something left those... Something pissed you off? That's so strange. You're usually so zen. Well, normally when, when I've left a job pissed off, the people who, uh, when I left, they know I was pissed off. That puts me on a list of something they call suspects. Hence why I don't go back to that store and fuck it up. Because they just go, who would want to do this? Oh, this guy. This guy who's, who stated he was pissed off. Let's call well, him. Well, the other thing is, I mean, if he doesn't work there anymore, he probably can't get in after the store is closed. Which means he went in while the store was open, which practically guarantees that somebody saw you do it. Because have you ever been in a place more well lit than a supermarket? What was he trying to like, accomplish? I, I think in the right aisle of the supermarket, you can actually see your own soul. <laughs> yeah. They got some serious not fucking around lights at the supermarket, and I don't know why, but they do. What just what what was he trying to do? I don't understand. He's trying to commit an act of vandalism and cost them a lot of money. 700 bucks. Oh, God. Well, $700 worth of product. Then all the potential lawsuits from people who bought that meat. Then maybe fines from the FDA and USDA. Like, this could be a lot more costly than $700. And potential loss of future sales because people will feel that the food there is not safe. <sighs> Which would have worked had he not been caught. Well, it still might work, but that doesn't make, I mean, that doesn't make it less stupid. 
Yeah. I'm not saying the guy. I'm not defending this. Like this was a problem with your former employer. Call the Better Business Bureau. Go through their corporate service number. Do something productive. Don't potentially poison and kill innocent yeah. bystanders. This was by no means the Thomas Crown affair. You know, no. This this. And the way to punish your former employer is not by almost killing completely involved people. Yeah. We leave everyone else out of it, you well, know? We, uh, we've got uh, Valentine's Day coming up, um, which, uh, which kind of ties into our next story. We, we, we've all done something to get that special someone to like us. We've all tried doing a little something. You go above and beyond. You do a little bit much. Um, there are lines, however. And I, I think we, we could all... Look, that restraining order has been expired for a really long time, and the records have been sealed. I, I think we can draw the line at kidnapping, or at least plotting to do so. Um, convicted stalker Felix Velasque Velasquez, 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 I so suck at Spanish, I'm sorry. Felix you suck at names, dude. I do. Uh, Every week you're like John Smith. Nash, it's Smith. Oh. I'll just call him Felix. Uh, convicted stalker Felix hoped the plan to kidnap his former girlfriend would have had a happy ending, winning back her affections and bringing about a reconciliation. So Kidnapping he, always goes that way, right? So he devised, I shit you not, he, he had a name for this, quote, Operation Stitches. A crazy and meticulous scheme comprising 23 pages of maps, photos, personal details, and a scripted performance for abducting Dr. Teresa Duncan, who had him jailed for stalking her three years earlier. But, if anything went wrong, he said he was prepared to kill the beautiful young doctor. Oh, According great. to the undercover Broward Sheriff's deputy, he thought was his accomplice. I, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Look, if you, it, you know, I know, I know, women can be hard to read sometimes, and I know we can give mixed signals, and you know, we don't want to be. A lot of the time, we're polite, and we don't want to be a dick, so we'll be like, oh yeah, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll call you, blah blah blah, and then we don't. H here's the thing: if a chick has you thrown in jail for stalking you, she's just not that into you. And she never will be. Don't hold up a radio playing in your eyes outside her window. Don't skywrite her name in the in the in the sky above her place. Don't buy her flowers. Don't fucking plan to kidnap her. No. None of these things are going to work. Especially the kidnapping, because chicks aren't really into that. No. I mean, maybe uh, yeah. there are some chicks I'm sure who are. There's a fetish for everything. But it's the internet, yeah. Your average chick is not going to be wooed by forceful abduction. Unless you're going for Stockholm Syndrome, in which case, I mean, points for devotion and creativity, but still, you're a raging psycho and should just stop. I love that he gave it an operation name. Stitches! Operation Stitches. What the fuck? I really hope that's the name of his favorite stuffed animal. 23 pages of maps photos and personal details and a scripted performance of what for abducting her no but like a scripted performance of what apparently he was gonna do okay this is like geek. like was he gonna kidnap her tie her up and make him go through his one-man show of simple jack no i think he was nice i think he was planning to rescue her that's why he tried to get this guy to be his accomplice who was actually an undercover officer Kudos, the Broward County Police Department, by the way. Good catch, guys. Um, but I think he was probably going to have, you know, I'll save you, that bullshit. I thought like, he was probably going to try that, which, you know. Kidnapping is almost never a rescue. No. No, it's not. This, I, it, it, it does it. Which, okay, look. I would consider rescuing me from kidnappers or out of a dangerous situation just a basic human decency thing. You know, it's not like you're rescued, now where's the obligatory fuck? It doesn't work like well, that. I mean, have you ever seen an action movie in your life? That's the way it goes. Uh, 
you rescue a chick from something terrible and she falls in love with you and fucks you. Everybody knows that's how the world works. Yeah. Yeah. This this is you should have they should put like warning labels like childproof locks on DVDs for exactly this reason. If you're too dumb to open the box, you shouldn't be able to watch the movie. Okay, here's the thing though, where where that's not gonna help with a guy like this. She already put him in jail for stalking. Yeah. yeah. He didn't get the hint. Like there's I don't get hints. There's like I'm not so good at picking up subtle social cues. And then there's <laughs> I went to jail for stalking this chick, but I swear she'll love me if I can just pull off this kidnapping scheme. I what? I'm. Uh... That's like, that's like, that's like comparing like powder puff football to the fucking Super Bowl. So, this guy is the Super Bowl of crazy. So if I if I if she presses charges, uh, does that mean uh, I'm getting a second base? I I don't I don't understand. Women are so confusing. Yes, with the large man who is your cellmate. There you go. There you go. Um, I'm not with her. Oh, this this next guy. You know the whole bucket list concept, right? Yes. It's all the stuff you want to do before you kick the bucket. You make a list. Yes. And some of it's fairly reasonable. It's like, you know, I want to climb a mountain. Cool. Exhilar- you know, it's exertion. It's It's tough. It's hard. It takes... Work, climb a mountain. I want to. I want to to fly a plane. You know, stuff like that. I want to see the Great Wall of China. Few, if any, of us ever decide for our bucket list to get into a high speed chase with police for the hell of it. This is from Butte, Montana. Uh, why did a sober middle-aged man uh, lead police on a dangerous high-speed chase through Butte on the interstate early Thursday? Quote, I just always wanted to do that, he said. And the I name don't know why, that's kind of awesome. The name is fantastic. John C. Hughes. John Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. That, that guy, that fucking guy. <laughs> is accused of trying to evade a police patrol and driving at high speeds. Um, he was likely found out and involved severe tire damage plus because police used stop sticks to deflate his tires during the chase in order to get him to stop. Hughes was arrested without few further incident and faces a misdemeanor charge of reckless driving while eluding police. He wasn't intoxicated and they didn't find drugs or contraband in his vehicle. Uh, Sheriff John Walsh said the man allegedly told officers afterward he always wanted to see what it would be like to be in a chase with the police. Well, let's see. Um, your tires are gone. Um, you've been fined a thousand dollars. You're in jail. You have a record. Um, oh, and you could have killed people. Driving along the highway and causing them to get an accident. So, uh, you know, I think I think what sums it up is fucking idiotic is how it would be to be in. To, 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 uh. I appreciate it. it's thrilling. It's it's, it's clearly it's, it's, you have never seen the classic movie Chasers with Charlie Sheen and Christy Swanson, where the whole movie takes place inside Christy Swanson's stolen car. After Charlie Sheen holds her up, I believe, with a butterfinger. And uh, they wind up falling in love, and she fucks him while he's driving the car on the highway. And then helps him evade the police. Yeah, I know that. I don't know why, but I do. (laughs) Okay, well, just... just, I, I think that's kind of disqualified just because it involves Charlie Sheen. No, this is back before he went completely batters. Do we really know when that was, though? But but still, I mean, it. you can get the same damn experience. Just go play some GTA 3. You're done. <laughs> it's not really the same. No, it's... Yeah, because they're not actually shooting at me. I couldn't actually crash the car. You can actually kill the hooker and magically get healthier. You will not magically get healthier if you kill hookers. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> I just, dude, I have you ever? I am informed had, that the movie was actually called The Chase. I apologize for my error. 
have you actually had to, to replace your tires that aren't under road hazard warrant? I don't think ro- this qualifies as road hazard. I've never had a new car, so I've never had a car that was under warranty. Well, no. When you get your tires, you get what's is called a road hazard warranty, and if something happens to them, they'll replace them in a certain level of time. Yeah. But if you have to spend up front for that, that's five six hundred dollars in new tires right there, plus a thousand dollar fine, plus you're in jail. I I wish I had that kind of money to fucking waste, motherfucker. I hate this guy. <laughs> I do. Wasted. <laughs> luckily, luckily he didn't actually hurt anybody. No, thank God. Nobody was hurt. Don't do this. The only person he really screwed over is himself. Yes. So, you know, hope you had fun and got to fuck Christy Swanson at high speeds. Somehow I doubt that happened. Probably not. Just, yeah. Okay, what what else do we have? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's midnight. It's my birthday now. Hey, Thanks. happy birthday. Okay, we, we've got two more. Um, from the department of no one wants to see your dick. Uh oh, we haven't done a no one wants to see your dick in a while. Yeah, but it always comes back. It always comes back. Um, the this dick is, always comes back out, doesn't it? This is from uh, St. Louis area. Man accused of exposing himself to bank teller. A Brighton man decided to do more than check his bank account when he pulled up the drive up window last week. Dustin M. Crowshar. All right, that that's like a fucking Zindi Jedi name going on there, man. Kraushar. Can you... Klobek. Is that Slavic? No. Um, is charged with public mis- with misdemeanor public indecency for allegedly exposing himself to a Godfrey bank teller Thursday afternoon. According to Madison County Sheriff's Department report, he was completing a transaction at the drive-up window when he exposed his penis to yeah, the teller. Yeah, he was. That's what she said. <laughs> The incident was reported to police Monday after a manager at the bank learned of the incident from the teller. Um, they were unable to immediately locate him, but as a result of investigation, he surrendered to the Madison County Jail Monday evening. What an investigation. Is this your dick? Is this your dick? Is this your dick? <laughs> Ma'am, have you seen this dick? I have now. Don't okay. That that's one place you don't want to yank your dick out. Is that at the of, of the many places, but for a particular reason at the drive up teller, because they've got those suction things. And you piss. Yeah, we did a story about that. I know. Remember? You piss off the teller. Deposit. A guy made a deposit into one of those. I know. And you piss off the teller. She'll push that button. She'll yank your dick off. Well, I don't think he was, like, humping the fucking pneumatic tube. It just said he exposed Maybe, it. maybe not. Why take that, the risk? I feel like they probably would have included that detail in the story if he was up there, like, rogering the <laughs> pneumatic tube. Rogering? You're taking the British approach there? Sure. And now now I've got cosmic things stuck in my head again. Two weeks running! Um, but, you know, I mean, yes, maybe we put on some pants before doing any more banking today. And keep them on, because no one wants to see your dick, unless she specifically requests it. Did, did he just... Doesn't want to see it, people. She just doesn't. D- I'm sorry. I know that's hard. I know that's difficult to accept. I'm, I'm not going to do the pun. But, you know, that's life. Sometimes, sometimes you don't get to show girls your sexy, sexy man meat. I'm, I'm I- trying to understand. I'm trying to picture how this went. Did he... You know, okay, here's my deposit, uh, I need to get a money order, and um, here's my dick. Did it go like that? Or did you just pull up and like, hey, can you make change for this, you know? Probably something like the second one. Probably, like, yeah. Was this planned, do you think? Do you think he sat down and went, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to the bank. You know, oh, I, I kind of, one of the things I pride myself on is that I I don't really think like a sex offender. <laughs> so I can't say that I that I can really easily guess at the thought process there and, and I am not going to trouble myself too hard to try. That's what this qual this is a this is a sex offense right here. This Yes. 
You are now registered sex offender just because you couldn't keep your pants on at the bank. Congratulations, you idiot. There, there's your... Don't... This is another problem. You are now doing the sex offender shuffle. This, this is another problem of randomly... Of the many problems. This is, this is not... Randomly displaying your genitals forcefully at people without solicitation... You're on the sex offender list. That happens. That's how it works. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't there to make no trouble. Yeah. But there he is, doing the sex offender shuffle. Um, this last one tonight... Th this really doesn't fit into any category except for just... Argle Fargle Blargle is the only category this goes into. That is, that is a category we have, though. Supermarket burglar found naked and covered in peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, that falls into other categories, and I think you know which ones. Because we just talked about it. He's doing the same shuffle. He also spelled out sorry on the floor using NyQuil. Using NyQuil. All right. Man was arrested after he broke into a Kentucky grocery store and was found with peanut butter and chocolate smeared all over his naked body. Andrew. Two great tastes that taste great together. <sighs> uh, that man is only 22. I don't buy that. He is... Wow. You got your chocolate in my peanut butter. You got your peanut butter. You got your There's penis my in my... Oh, God! <laughs> you got your peanut butter in my ass. <laughs> Look at Things it. you don't often hear at the supermarket. That's a porn stash he's rocking right there. Look at Andrew mm. Toothman. Look at him. Wow. Um, Toothman, 22, didn't tell police why he felt the need to break into the pro Food World IGA in the small town of Neon, Kansas. But he was found there early in the morning on Tuesday. There was no money missing from the cash registers, and Toothman wasn't trying to pocket any expensive foodstuffs. That said, he wasn't wearing pockets at all. Police found peanut butter and chocolate covering his body, the supermarket floor, and the manager's office. Apparently, Toothman had a mo moment of repentance during his random spree. He spelled out the word sorry on the floor using the nighttime flu suppressant NyQuil. <laughs> NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, I woke up covered, naked, <laughs> covered in peanut butter and chocolate medicine. Maybe that is the problem. Maybe uh, he took too much NyQuil and, you know, shit happens when you party on NyQuil. I just, mother. Like, wow. <laughs> and the look on his face in this picture is kind of like, yeah, you got me. I'm confused as why he looks so clean in the picture. Did they shower him before the mugshot? Maybe they hosed him off. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get the, the kind of guy. The kind of I guy mean, you find. You wouldn't want to put that guy in the cop car that way. Oh so god, no. Sticky. You get with ants in the cop ass, car. Yeah, with ass peanut butter. Oh. And scrot oh. Scrotal chocolate. There's your word for the week. <laughs> You're welcome. How does one get it to get to this point in their life? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, you know, if this is your thing, if you want to spread chocolate and peanut butter all over yourself and make yourself just a big old fetished out Reese's cup, great. Do it. I don't judge. Whatever makes you happy. But do it in the privacy of your own home. Like, do you don't have to, to the store and do it there. You can buy these foodstuffs. Bring them to your home, put down some wax paper, roll around in them, do what you gotta do. <laughs> we like, don't judge, we just tell you to keep it to yourself. Yes! Like, you know, no, the whole world does not need to be informed and subjected to your sexual proclivities. I gotta imagine the poor arresting officer, he just showed up to that call as like, I quit. Really? really? <laughs> I just, yeah. yeah I, you know, I quit. Fuck it. I quit. I'm done. Maybe, you know what? Maybe, do we know if this guy's a girlfriend? Because maybe this was just a test run on her Valentine's Day gift. Well, this is what not to do on Valentine's. 
Well, not in public, but I'm sure there are plenty of girls who, if their boyfriend showed up, like, covered in peanut butter and chocolate, would be down. I mean, you know, chocolate's chocolate, dude. And if you're really into your boyfriend, and he shows up covered in, you know, that could be fun. Uh, I'm revealing too much about myself here, I suppose, but... Yeah, but now you've said the word scrotal chocolate, and that's that's just stuck in my head now. Uh. Oh, that, was, that, that was the idea. Ah. Uh. You know, maybe this maybe this was like the the rehe- the dress rehearsal, so to speak, but not really of you know his girlfriend's Valentine's Day gift. I I love that he was at least polite enough to 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 do the sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I he was at least polite enough to spell sorry. Why the manager's office though? Why did the, what did the guy that guy ever do? This maybe that's thing? his girlfriend. You're like weaving this I can, narrative I can together. I fucking justify anything. Like at this point, like any of these stories, I could be like, "No, nah, I totally know how this happened. Let me work this out for you. I got it all figured out." <laughs> like that. That's a useless talent. <laughs> You're like Mr. Monk for what the fuckery. Yeah, they should do a TV show about me on USA. So what did we learn this week? We learned that politicians should stay away from social media. Don't go near it. Yes, they should. Have your interns deal with that shit. They know what Twitter is. They also know what The Onion is. You obviously don't. You're old and white and rich. Don't don't do it. Because you're just going to... Politicians are old and white and rich. That's, That's bipartisan. I can't wait to have a politician, you know, d- d- hear, hear a broadcast of War of the Worlds and hop on Facebook, go, Oh my God, the Martians invading! Where's the military? That'll, that'll be Newt Gingrich. <laughs> I told you bitches we should have colonized the moon! God damn it! Yeah. yeah. Um, we learned if you're robbing a bank, you gotta have some level of competency here. And, and some, you, you have to have some balls. You got to be able to it, don't power through have that to adversity. Purge your convictions. If right. you're going to commit a criminal act, double down on that shit. Right. Don't just like, be like. Don't just commit. Do yes. If you're going to. That's walk why they in, call it committing a crime. Because you got to fucking commit. If you're walking into a bank with your shorts on your head, you 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 nut up, my friend. You you don't just be like, "What are you doing? Nothing." By don't do. Yeah. Have, have, you know, have some courage. And um, use proper grammar so that they know what your theft note says. Yes, yes, they have to understand it before they... Have that shit proofed. Um, there's love, and then there is, uh... Kidnapping. Yeah, they are Notice not- how they're not the same word. Notice how only one is a felony. <laughs> well, it depends on the kind of love, but generally, Yes. Yes. The kidnapping kind is a felony. Definitely, kidnapping is a felony. Some loves are a felony. Syndrome, not the same as love. Not the same. Yeah. That's actually a mental disorder. Not the same. Not the same. Um, we we learned that uh, it's expensive. If you ever always wanted to be in a uh, car chase with the police, it's expensive, and that's about it. Dangerous and expensive. Congratulations. But probably exhilarating. And more fun with Christy Swanson. Well, are we talking like 90s Christy Swanson or today Christy Swanson? 90s. 90s. There you go. Yeah. Um, we, we, <laughs> we learned that if you're going to, to get back at your former employee, employer, call the Better Business Bureau, you know, review them on Yelp. Don't, don't, don't pour bleach all over the chicken. That's not a good marinade for anyone. I, again, like, you know, that, that's more punishing the innocent people that bought the chicken. Yeah. Rather than the store. I'm sure it will cost the store a lot of money, but also those things are lit like the face of God and have a lot of cameras. So supermarkets, not chicken. <laughs> I just realized in my head how unclear that statement was. That's a weird chicken. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if God possesses a chicken, I suppose he'd be really well lit. But neon yeah. camera chicken, new this fall. <laughs> but uh, you know, just 
They'll probably make that cartoon on Cartoon Network, Neon Camera Chicken. Can I get can I get some royalties on that shit? I could use some money. Maybe it'll be. They'll put. You think I'm kidding? They'll put that shit on Adult Swim. They had Assy McGee. They'll make Neon Camera Chicken. What is Assy McGee? Assy McGee was a cop show about a talking ass. It like isn't a donkey? No. Oh. Yes. Didn't Jim Carrey run that gag into the ground in the early yes. 90s? Well, you know, they also brought Beavis and Butthead back. Yeah. Like, we're officially out of ideas. Yeah. And, and finally, we learned that um, if you really must coat yourself in confections, keep it in with your own four walls. Yes. Don't. This is not a pop. Do what you got to do. Everybody's happy. I, I, I'm not. I'm goddamn. That's just awful. Because now are, I'm are you mad because he used up all the chocolate and peanut butter you were going to cover yourself in after the show? No, I'm mad because now I can't get the word scrotal chocolate out of my fucking head. <laughs> 